Welcome to Cynthia Porter Studio. I'm Cindy and this is my exploration into fluid art. Hey guys, Cindy here. So what I'm going to do today, give me just a second. Hey Google, turn off. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play with my beads again and I'm going to do some blue flowers. So what I'm doing is I've already mixed a lot of paint and all different colors and it's pretty thick I mean it it leaves a mound that sinks but I know that I don't want need all that so I'm going to put out little bits and pieces especially of the flower color because I'm not going to use much of it into these little cups and I'm going to add water let me see I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do and then I'm going to add water just a couple of drops at a time start off slowly mixing and then you can speed up and I'm going to keep adding a little bit of water until it's the consistency that I need which is where it comes off the stick and sinks right back into itself and this is uh, my Liquitex Prussian Blue, and it's a little bit thicker than probably a lot of the paints that I've got here. So it's going to take a little more water than the rest of them. But I'm going to mix them all to that same consistency where they just fall off almost there. A couple, little, a couple more drops. You want to be sure to scrape your edges. Oh, maybe two more drops. Point. <laughs> and that should be perfect. It is leaving the tiniest amounts, but I think I can live with that. Let's see. See how it just sinks right into itself. So that is consistency. I'm going to be making all my paints. And so I'm going to put you guys on pause while I do that because it's going to take me a hot minute. And I'll see you back once I get this canvas flooded. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake. So I really want to thank all of y'all for being here and watching my video. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you think about hitting that subscribe button and following me around a little bit. So you may have noticed I went ahead and flooded basically the whole canvas with my white and then I used a popsicle stick to scrape out where I'm going to do my chaos um, Dutch pour from. That way I already have the paint built up around where I'm going to be blowing. Anyway, going to get back to it. Love y'all. I would never waste your time on my
guys, now that I've got the paint on my bees, I'm going to let it set for a few minutes to let that paint have a chance to fall onto the canvas before I start pulling it. And I'm going to start pulling it with these shorter pieces I have first. And this one with the big squiggly, that's going to be the last one I do. So hang on for more. Mwah!
For a minute and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. I'm going to be putting these beads and some water in these cups because I reuse everything that I can. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey Google, turn off. So I'm going to bring you guys down in for this close-up. And I cannot tell you, oh, I can tell you exactly how in love I am with this. I really enjoy doing these and you should give it a try. Sorry for any shadow and glare. Mmm, it's just beautiful. I love these featherings and striations and really love my green. And I love that I added the, um, what was it? Hmm, I think that's teal, but I'll double check. If you want to look in my description, I'll have my colors. And I love that I added a, a lot more yellow this time around into my leaves. Anyways, I want to wish you all a bunch of peace, love, light, and lots and lots of laughter. And hold on for the dry results. And here are the dried results. And I just think it's beautiful. And I hope you do too. Until next time, Cindy out. Thank you.